is fun. <laughs> Man, she's a rocket. Hey, welcome to the Fireball Mullet channel, guys. Well, we got this bad boy installed, the LSX Concept. Thanks, Greg, for sponsoring this video. And man, this thing just took the, the motor, the way it runs, everything else, like a whole new level. Like I'm just like smiling and talking to myself while I'm driving a car. <laughs> anyway, this video is all about installing the 2650 Flex Drive LSX Concepts Kit. And it's a, it's a well-engineered, man, it just runs so butter smooth. So we got it all on, but I'm gonna walk you through every step of the way and uh let's get right to the videos guys greg said we could also give you guys a discount so if you decide to go this route the discount code is fireball and just put that in your order and you're going to get yourself a nice discount so that's kind of where we're at here let me just take you a little bit here what we got going on do a little bit of quick overview here so this is everything that we've got from lsx concepts and the first thing you'll notice is power steering and your alternator high mount kit for the driver's side. This is gonna be your high mount AC uh, for the passenger side, okay? Then I went ahead and picked up a few extra things. I got the upgraded uh, nice polished pulleys here, uh, as well as I went ahead, got a new power steering pump uh, that's gonna go on this. I'm gonna use my existing uh, AC compressor and my existing alternator so that's going to stay the same there uh, and then we'll go ahead you'll no also notice i've got a new reservoir here that's going to be uh, an an-6 sort of fitting there so i'll have to get all that plumbed later once i figure out where all this stuff is going but then we've got a six rib because this is just going to be the accessories now so it's not going to be driven like one belt like it is today with the blower and the accessories so that's going to be the belt for this kit basically here and then of course you got the vet tensioner and what else we got the mount for the power steering reservoir i'm gonna this is going to be the going back to a six rib so i'm going to go ahead and put this back on the alternator so that's going to go on the alternator and they got this little trim kit which basically matches this and we got some Eiler pulleys and that sort of thing. So that's kind of the set there. Um, pretty nice setup. It's a really nice design and well executed. See, that's the ribbed. So uh, that's kind of this set here. Now, the dedicated blower set, this is going to be your 10 rib setup. So this is going to be dedicated with this new 2650 flex drive, which at the heart of it is this piece right here that's going to mount where your lower AC typically does. And then this right here, that's where the tensioner is gonna mount. It's gonna be right here, okay? And that's all gonna be 10 rib setup. And that's using a very cool design that he has, this clover design. And you can see here there's numbers on it, which is very cool because it gives you, I think like a 3 16 fine adjustment so you can really tune this thing in. And then if you, flip it over you've got three more uh, four more adjustments so it's eight adjustments fine adjustments here which i really love speaking of adjustments you also will have uh, this is basically this is going to go up near the blower pulley the upper pulley here that's going to get a nice wrap there so i'll take you there real quick so this is all going to mount somewhere in here and the cool thing about this is is you got two more adjustments so you've got uh, a couple adjustments here and then you also have four more adjustments here so this thing has three adjustment points so we're going to start with a neutral uh, adjustment kind of in the middle and kind of go with there so uh, the other thing this is just a support bracket that mounts on the water pump this is going to be the plate here that covers that kit basically your pulleys here your pulley drives um, and then of course I went ahead and picked up I got new pulleys here so with this setup uh, I couldn't use my ZL1 stock balancer so I've got a 10 ring pulley here 
uh, that's going to mount on an ATI super damper. And uh, so we're going to go through this install as well. And then I got to see about pinning this if the existing pin kit that I've got now will work or is this a new sort of pin setup? I got to figure all that out. Then once I've got all this done, he provides this tailor tape and you can measure for your blower belt. So that's basically, and then of course all the hardware there. So they're really cool. I'm excited about it, but let's get right to it guys. All right, so the first part of this, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install the alternator, the power steering pump, and uh, the idler pulley on the driver's side of the engine. All right guys, first step is gonna be number one, attach the front and rear plate to the engine as shown. So basically using a combination of the two brackets here, and then the bolts, spacers right here. And we're basically gonna be bolting it to the head here and also to the block. So that's how that's gonna go. Just to kind of give you a little bit of orientation here, um, I know that this is gonna be the power steering pump mounting area here, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be the front plate and then the small one is gonna be the back plate. So, like that, should be your first one. Let's go ahead and get that started, I guess. All right, so this is kind of the first step here. And make sure you take this bolt out. <laughs> That's gonna go through the front bracket. Alright, go ahead, put this back on. Now this little short one here, that's going to go where that threaded spacer was in. So line that up. Of course you want to use anti-seize and all this and probably some thread locker but he has all that in the instructions to guide you all right now the final bolt here to kind of bolt this plate on is down here you'll see a little bit of a slot the only difference is you're going to use a washer on that and that's in the instructions as well let me just kind of do that put the spacer on all right guys Kind of got these uh, bolts on here. Let me just give you a quick overview here real quick. So yeah, you got a back plate, which is kind of the short one that just goes on the head there for the most part. This is where your alternator is gonna be mounted. Then you got your front plate and basically you have a few bolts here. This one right here is a threaded spacer. You can see it's got a little bit, let's see if I can focus here. It's got a little bit of that so you can tighten that down. That's a spacer and that's going to be a short bolt that kind of goes through the front plate. Um, then you've got the two inch spacer. The rest of them are 2.29. So this is the same distance here, but the rest of them are going to be a little bit longer. So yeah, just got that threaded in, got that threaded in there. And then again, a one on the bottom. It's ovaled out a little bit. So you got a little bit of adjustment there, but that's got a washer on it with another spacer and just kind of goes through. All right, so that's kind of step one of the instructions, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the next step, which is step number two. So we'll go ahead and install this. Basically, you put the bolt through it. This is gonna be one of the longer bolts here. And then you got this piece here that's basically gonna go on the back of that. And that goes through the slided right here all right guys still kind of just got this all bolted on we've got the idler pulley on and we're going to talk torque all this up you want to kind of keep this loose because what's next is going to be the alternator so we're going to grab that and i went ahead and switched over the pulley already and then put on the decorative now i went ahead and put blue light tight on these little screws here obviously that's a it's going to be spinning baby so and this really just kind of goes right in here, like so. And then you wanna get your bolts. And 
going. Two bolts and two, and two, uh, now he provides two mounting points here. So we're gonna be using this bolt hole here, like so. Go ahead and get that aligned. And that's how you wanna secure it, like so. And we'll go ahead, we're gonna torque everything down. He's got it in his instructions. Uh, the larger bolts here are gonna be 25 foot pounds and then the smaller ones, 15 foot pounds. So we'll go ahead, torque everything down. And I think probably what's next is gonna be the power, st the power steering pump. It's gonna go right here, these three bolts. So let's go ahead and get that done. working with aluminum heads or block just uh, don't go crazy on it there we go all right guys the next part is going to be attaching the steering pump uh, power steering pump so that's basically going to go right there three bolts pretty simple bolt on and that's going to go right there so we're going to go ahead and uh, bolt that on next and that's going to be basically this side Pretty cool. You'll have to pull it. Sneak this in here, hopefully. And we're gonna go ahead and see if I can get a bolt started here. There's somewhere in there. There we go. All right, boys and girls. The alternator and the power steering pump. Uh, so we're all set and it just looks so freaking nice fits so perfect everything was just right on man so well engineered there so pretty excited about that give you another look on this side here you kind of see what's going on there here we go so there you go boys and girls that is the setup there Pretty badass, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna take this moment to make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like, and uh, comment below. And all you haters out there, hit that dislike twice. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, the next thing we need to do is go to the other side. We're going to go ahead and install the AC compressor uh, hot mount kit on the passenger side of the, of the engine. Uh, we're also going to put the Corvette tensioner on that. And if you know LS spacing, the Corvette is the one that's the most tightest in. So that really pulls that whole accessories in uh, with, the L, with the vet spacing. So that's what we're going with here. Uh, but all that's part of Greg's kit, um, his, his accessory kit. This is going to be a six rib, remember, and then the blower is going to be the 10 rib kit. So let's go ahead, let's get that on because uh, it's super simple. I'm going to walk you through every step. Let's check it out. Yes, we're going to go ahead and uh, start putting this together. Basically, step one, remove the six pulley from the Corvette belt tensioner, which is right here. This is going to be the ribbed pulley. Um, the aisle are there and so we'll go ahead and start piecing these together so we'll go ahead and take the 140 millimeter I believe this one is and I'll put it through there then it says we need a step idler spacer which is the one here that fits basically in there then it passes through the bracket like right here and we'll want a spacer that's a 1.9 inch spacer I'm thinking that's gonna be this one here and then it goes basically through this hole here and then we'll go ahead 
All right, before I get this, so let me kind of walk you guys through, kind of put this together. It's kind of all ready here. Kind of follow the instructions and then I just kind of went ahead and put the bolts through it. It's ready to bolt to the block. So the three here is actually the ones that go through the heads and the block here, I guess. Mainly the heads, I think. So that's how this is basically gonna be ready to go. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and see if I can get our flex drive bracket. So I've got great access to it right now. Got some bolts here that we're gonna use. And currently I'm running my ground strap to this bolt. So I've taken that off and then I gotta figure out, you know, where I'm gonna put that ground strap at. Um, so I gotta figure that out. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, let's just see what we got here. A little bit of Loctite. Just gotta figure that out. This is gonna slide in here. And again, your clover mount's gonna go in here and you can flip it for all kinds of different adjustments, but we can go ahead and mount this on first and get this thing all ready. So this is the 2650. This is the new piece here that they just designed. And we'll go ahead and get that started like that. On the other side. And we did verify. I've got the small block Chevy clamshells, which kind of hang out a little bit more. But it looks like they're going to fit well. So I think we're all good. I got one more bolt on the bottom here and we'll be ready. Then I can put on the other, the clover attachment as well as the tensioner down the road when we do the blower belt piece. And I've still got to take care of the couple other things here. Let's see if we can get this thing in here. A couple of these bolts sure they're started pretty good that one is we got the brackets on let's go ahead it's just four bolts to get the compressor on then I'll go ahead put the lines on the AC lines on and we'll call this side done <laughs> All right, guys. next thing is kind of got this on got a little bit loose and that's because we got to put the compressor on next and then we've got four bolts that basically bolt onto this and then we just tighten everything down all the bolts here and we'll be ready uh, we'll put the pulley back on I guess the tensioner and then put the water pump on and honestly it's just that easy Basically, you just got to finagle this. It's got a spacer on this side here and there's top and then the same thing on the bottom. So you just have to, the key is keeping this bracket loose so you can kind of play around with it. Get these two hung first, put the two front, two, put the two top bolts in first and that way it'll just swing in and the harder ones on the bottom will just go in. So that's kind of my tip there. Um, all right, I got, uh, just gonna torque down everything to 25 foot pounds. And uh, for the most part, I think we're all set here for the for the AC bracket. Looking pretty damn good, man. Take a look at that, baby. Ooh wee. Man, beautiful. Yeah, so I did order a throttle body spacer, a one inch, I think, because that's pretty close there. So I'm gonna see if that helps. And then I ordered a 45 for my fuel regulator, kind of kick the line out a little bit. But other than that, then I'm gonna put the water pump on right now. God damn it. Yep. Good to me. Hey guys, let me catch you up real quick here. Went ahead, I got the AC lines back on the compressor right here. So that's all good. Um, 
The other thing is I went ahead and pulled off the water pump because I thought I had the, I thought I had the ZL1 water pump, but apparently uh, I think I might've put the LS1 on it when I originally built the NA motor. So that, because the, basically the outlets over here and the ZL1 is over here. So of course I got to get new hose, all that good stuff. But I uh, went ahead and pulled that off. I think while I'm at it too, because I saw a little bit of oil uh, around this seal and a little bit around the corner here. And there was that, definitely a little bit of oil, just a tiny bit. I never noticed any leaks. So I wanted to mention, and I decided to, I had saw a little oil leak, decided to pull the front seal out of the timing cover. Uh, and I got the tool to pull that sort of that seal out and damn it if I didn't like gouge the timing cover around where that seal goes in so uh, I'm not showing you guys this but I went ahead and replaced the timing cover put a new front seal in it and uh, yeah we uh, so it's one of those things that happens luckily everything was already off and uh, worked out pretty well so pretty happy with it and uh, it actually you know saw my leaking I had a little small leak didn't really drip or anything but you could just tell it was a little bit of wet around it so hey it's been about four or five years now I don't know which it just all runs together and uh, so it's a good time to refresh things while you're in there all right guys now, it's time to put the genius of this whole system, which man, I get excited about because it's just a really cool design and I love it. So, uh, what it is, is it's the, this bracket basically mounts under the block where your AC, where a stock LS AC compressor is. So it's really cool. And that's why you have to use the high mount system there. So we're gonna go ahead bolt that on a little bit of thread lock some NICs all that good stuff and then bolt the LSA stock tensioner which in my case has a 10 rib pulley on it we're going to bolt that to that bracket so I'll show you how right now all right guys I'm going to show you a little bit how this works before we put it on here so again the flex drive this is going to be the tensioner piece again very cool it's numbers on here so there's one you can see it two, three, four. Now he recommends going uh, to number three first, to go in number three first. So basically the way it works is, this is gonna go inside of that mount that we just put on the side of the block where the AC is, that's gonna fit in there. And this allows you to adjust it 3 16 of an inch each one. But what's cool is you can flip it over and you got four more adjustments. So 3 16 of adjustment I think it is, and that's a really fine adjustment, which is really cool. Um, again, and then you also have the adjustments here on this. You're gonna have two here and four on this side. So, wow, I really just kind of went with it because dedicated belt and it has the adjustability. So again, this is gonna be the bolt here that bolts onto that clover leaf. Again, this is a 10 rib tensioner. This is the stock LSA tensioner, but the way that's gonna go is essentially this dowel here or this peg, uh, basically this locator peg here, that's gonna go, we're gonna have number three, just like that. So that's how it's gonna go there. Now, one of the recommendations, which I thought was pretty smart, uh, that Greg said at LSX Concepts is, so you can kind of adjust it, um, but basically this tensioner, the indicator is gonna be at the bottom here. So get it somewhere in the center and then mark the top with like a blue felt marker. So I was thinking about doing that before I put it on, but I don't know if I can get it, get underneath there maybe, tension it up and then mark it, I guess is the best way because I'm not gonna be able to do it unless this thing's mounted. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, this is kind of the genius of the design here. Bam, just like that. So now if we take this over to the car, I'll show you how that works. Insert this, again, it's gonna be with the number three on the left. And he's got all this in the instructions. 
we'll go ahead put that in there fits very nicely okay go ahead put this in here and then once I figure out the location I'll put a little bit of uh, blue thread locker on it I guess now that's gonna go again I can take you guys in here again this pin here it's gonna go in number three which is right there like so get this started now you got this nice tensioner right here that's it all right i'm gonna take you in here and kind of show you what we've done again there's a tensioner the 10 rib tensioner we got one bolt, we torqued that to 25 foot-pounds. It's indicated on the dowel on number three on that clover mount, which is inserted into the bracket, which bolts onto the AC lower mount, right? So that's why this kit requires the high mount AC, because it's gonna use this lower mount here for that bracket. So that's a big thing there, okay? All right, now, got that on there i'm gonna go ahead and put the 10 rib upper pulley on now we went ahead and changed pulley sizes i was running a 243 or two something like that uh, but i ended up doing an upper 2.75 inch because i also uh, went to a larger lower pulley so the ratio difference is only about a 3% more overdrive, so not a lot, uh, but there is gonna be a little bit more boost here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this 10 rib pulley on, the upper pulley here. So there's 10 bolts, the screws that kind of come with it. And I went ahead and gave it a little silver uh, paint on the heads of it here, uh, just to kind of match the theme of the rest of the pulleys. Uh, so we'll take a look and see how that goes, but just to kind of show you uh, what I'm talking about. You can see these pulleys here, they got kind of a silver look to it. So just thought I'd go ahead and keep with that theme and just see how it looks. So basically we're gonna get our hub started here. Clock one I'm at the top. So we'll go ahead and get those on there. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on them, 10 of them, and we're all good. Now this next part, I went ahead, the video was getting super long and I went ahead and just peeled off the whole ATI super damper into its own video. So that'll be coming up next, installing it, putting it together. We also had to pin that. So I picked up an ATI super, super damper uh, pin kit, which is a little different than the pin kit that I had in it before where it went into the crank this way. Now it's kind of perpendicular to the pin and then the hub kind of goes over. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys all through that step-by-step -step in another video. So let's get to the next piece. All right guys, for the water pump, well, I thought I had the right water pump, but I must've bought an LS1 pump when I did the install. So actually I didn't have the right water pump. You gotta have a ZL1 uh, stock water pump there. So, I went ahead, bought one. I actually, I got it from Greg at LSX Concepts and uh, we're gonna go ahead. Let me stop shaking here. We'll go ahead, put this on next. I think it's gonna be all worth it. Again, there's the pulley for the blower. We're gonna bolt that on. There's three bolts and uh, pretty simple there. I'm gonna bolt that on three bolts there. So we're getting, we're getting close guys. All right guys, catch you up here. Got the uh, water pump on. Everything's looking good. I love the ZL1 water pump. Doesn't take up much room. Uh, other than that, it pretty much just bolted on. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, this thing's coming together. Super sweet. Oh, also got my power steering new box on. I got all the lines ran. There's eight in. Uh, there's eight in fittings. 
I'm sorry, there's six AN fittings on pretty much everything and I put a cooler under the bumper and then I got a new reservoir here with a 10 AN that's a feed uh, to the pump there. So you can see a little bit bigger one um, there. So, but yeah, man, this is looking awesome. All right, guys, uh, we also went ahead, we're gonna pick up, uh, Greg also got me uh, a 10 rib ring that's gonna mount on the ATI super damper. So uh, again, I think that was 8.9 inches uh, for that. So uh, I'll give you some numbers here on like what the overall overdrive ratio is here. Um, so just three bolts to put that on. Let's see that. I'm gonna go ahead, get this, uh, get this pulley on, it's just three bolts. We'll go ahead, get that bolted on the balancer here. So it's just, I'll get those started and then run them down. It's already got some blue tight Loctite on it. And you can see there, there's the 10 rib. And that's gonna align with the 10 rib flex, the new tensioner, which is awesome. And of course, the upper pulley there. And then we're gonna put the rear, uh, the rear belt bearing kit that bolts on the water pump here. And that's probably the last step. And then we measure for the 10 rib belt. So yeah, it's looking really nice there. Look at that. Man, that's killer. Go ahead, get this bad boy on. And there's three bolts here, and then we'll go ahead and torque these. And then we'll go ahead, put the race bearing kit on here. The belt bearing kit, I don't know. The belt bearing is the three pulleys there. And that's really the last part of the 2650 kit. So we'll go ahead, torque those bolts back down, and then we'll start on that. All right, guys, well, this bearing race kit, it's basically three three pulleys that kind of just supports the 10 rib uh, blower belt uh, coming off the upper belt and on the lower piece. So it's just a way to kind of make sure we get all the proper wrap. It's three pulleys and uh, there's two adjustments on that. So I'll go ahead and just kind of break that apart and show you uh, how that works. Okay, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit here broke this thing down uh, for this top one here you're going to want to pick there's e and f it's marked e and f if i can show that here yep f is on the one on the end here there's e so it's in e now but basically instructions is get it in the one that's closest to the upper pulley as possible and still allows time or still allows space to get your belt on so that's step one there once you figure out that orientation uh, then we're gonna go ahead and probably, I think he said start out with B. And again, this is your, a little bit more course adjustment here. So there's A, B, C, D. Um, so I think we're gonna start out with B here. And then you saw on the flex tensioner uh, that I started in uh, with the clover position in, in three, I think it was, anyway. Um, so anyway, and the way these things work, you got studs that kind of go through and then you got a comment. All right, guys, first thing you're going to want to do is put the uh, support arm here. And it's basically the two bolts here, the two water pump bolts. So you take those two water pump bolts out. So you, uh, it's one way. So make sure that you can see that little angle kind of comes over this way. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, just test fit this, make sure that lines up. We'll go ahead, put that on there, and then that bolt will go right there and that's the one you just want to make sure you test all right yep that works see i've got three bolts in that so i'll go ahead take these off and go ahead and apply the loctite to those one at a time keeping uh, one of them tight so they're aligned and we'll go ahead and do that and one uh, 15 foot pounds there we go 15 foot pounds. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead, get this thing bolted up. Basically just bolts in the water pump. The top one goes up in that arm. You can see they all just kind of line up to the water pump there. And, all right guys, let's kind of get those started. 
right, and we'll just snug them up a little bit. I'll just snug up the studs here. I got a little Allen here. I'll snug those up. All right, we got them all, all the bolts, anti-seize, and also some blue Loctite. Go ahead, get this on. Also, I snugged up the studs. We'll go ahead, snug these up real quick, and then go ahead and put the pulleys on. Snug them, that's all you need. Pulley's just gonna be riding on it, so it should be good. All right, guys, we'll go ahead. Smooth one goes up top. Yep, that was perfect. And then this one here, we'll basically get it aligned from the front. that and I think nope I'm not gonna have enough room for the belt there so I got to change that back to E I think it was see how close that was now I would say that I did this for demonstration purposes but I really didn't so uh, we'll go ahead and change that to the other hole here All right and the last one got anisees got aluminum stainless I believe so Got to do it. Torque these down to 20 foot pounds, I believe. And we'll see what's next. All right, guys. Well, this is the final piece of the puzzle. This is the cover plate for those three. And, but before you do that, you got to measure for the belt. Make sure you get that, put the belt on, and then this goes on. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how this thing works. And uh, we'll pull it back off. Then I gotta measure for a belt. And you know what? I could actually put, cause he, he also includes, Greg includes at LSX Concepts, the six rib that goes with this kit. So actually I have that. I could put the, put the accessory belt on and then just, I gotta order the 10, 10 rib blower belt, so. Okay. And this kind of shows you also the, the different adjustments from the front. That's pretty easy to see. So again, we're in the E hole. There's the F. I didn't have clearance enough for the belt for that one. And then I'm starting with B, which is right here. So that's it. So man, this is going to be some incredible, incredible wrap on the, on the pulley here. I can't wait to see that. Man, this is crazy. Well, guys, the next thing, the final thing, you got to measure for your belt, you know, make sure you get all that done and we're going to be done. Uh, order the belt. He's got some instructions on how to order that in terms of the closest size and all that sort of thing. So uh, just check out those instructions for that. Get you a belt ordered. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. But one of the biggest things I love about it is just having all of the adjustability for this is is just cru is crucial it really is and uh so once i checked this one i realized that i'm going to have to move the clover leaf a few more numbers got the belt on pretty easy uh, this is a 10 rib gates HD I don't know if I'm gonna keep this belt I've got another one coming that's a continental I think that one's gonna be a better belt but I'm not sure but all right so I went ahead got the 10 rib belt on went ahead put that on and started to look at the tensioner and as it turns out uh, I'm gonna need to get a little bit more tension on this belt. So the way you do that, 
again, if you remember, I kind of made a few marks here, but underneath of it, there's the tensioner indicator. So I'm gonna take a look at that, get that lined up. In order to do that, remember I said there's a fine grain adjustment that's going to be on the clover leaf piece there. So we're going to move it two positions and get us a little bit more tighter, which is about, I think Greg said about three sixteenths for every position in the clover leaf adjustment. So we're going to get that two more. So we'll change it from number three to number five and see how that looks. All right, so right here is a clover leaf, and right now again, it's on the three position. So we're gonna take that out, and we're gonna move it over two spots. Kind of look at it there. Again, it's got numbers. It's one through four. I've got it on a third, so we'll have to flip it over to get to the fifth position, which is right here, and that'll go. There you go. Now we'll put the tensioner back on. What do you have this time, Captain? belt looks good in that position so we'll go ahead and put the front cover plate on and torque those lock those nylon lock nuts to 25 foot pounds and then we'll check it maybe after a week of driving and if we have to we can uh, bump that clover up one more if it stretches any which is what I really love about this kit so that's it guys Ooh wee the belt wrap looks amazing